Hey guys, Tom here, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today, as you know, the championship finished yesterday. All the games are now done. We know the teams that have been relegated, promoted, and of course, who's going to be fighting it out in the playoffs, the only games left in the season. But I think it's the right time to do our reaction to what we said at the start of the year. Absolutely. Now, we made these predictions 12 months ago. Even Corona's happened. It certainly has. So, everything has changed. Shall we start with Barnsley, Thea? You predicted 22nd in the league. I predicted 23rd, and they were actually... 21st. Wow. But what an amazing survival. They yeah. won the last two. They stayed up in like the last kick of the game almost. It's unbelievable. And to beat Brentford 2-1 in the fashion they did, yeah. it was amazing. They went on a really good run at the end of the season. And that's what kept them up in the league. Since September the 15th, they were in the relegation zone. That's insane. Until the 91st minute of the last game. Before we move on to the next one, I just want to say, like this video today. What's the like target today, Dad? The like target today is 5,000. Absolutely smash it. If we hit that with Championship content, then maybe yeah. we'll do some more championship content. So hit the target and make sure you subscribe to the Thogden channel up there somewhere. Subscribe with those notifications on. Birmingham. Okay. You said 14th, I said 18th. They were actually 20th. You got better than me, yeah. It's all about Jude Bellingham, isn't it? He just went to Dortmund, played his last game. Past lockdown, their form has been rubbish, hasn't it? It has. They're the only team not to win since lockdown ended. One point in six games, and they were two points above the drop zone. Obviously had that problem with their owners. I saw this video on Twitter going around of them kicking off with their owner when he came to the ground. I hope they get that sorted out. Losing Jude Bellingham is a big loss for you, but I'm sure he's going to go on to do massive things. Aren't they retiring his shirt there? Yeah, they just said they're retiring number 22. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Oh he's only played God. one season for the first team and he's 17 years old and they've retired the shirt number. I think, tell you yeah. what I think about that. It's absolutely bloody ridiculous. If someone stays at your club for 20 years and is an amazing servant and scores 300 goals or whatever, retire the shirt. Some 17 year old who's played there for a year yeah. and has been sold for a few quid. Yeah. Are you joking, Birmingham? The next team is Blackburn Rovers. Let's not forget them this time, I think. Yeah. He said 16th, I said 14th. They were 11th. Mm, yeah. Mid-table. I mean, it's not much you can say, although I remember the days when they had Alan Shearer yeah. and they were winning the Premier League. So a bit of a decline, really. Brentford, you Here said fifth in the playoffs. I said sixth from the playoffs. They came third. Okay, I did better than you. You <laughs> did. That was their best yeah. season since 1947. But yeah. oh my goodness, they must be crying this morning. Well, we did predict playoffs, both of us, correct? Yeah, we did. But you look at Brentford's goal difference, it's the best in the championship. Yeah. Better than Leeds, better than West Brom. You look at the last game of the season, they're playing Barnsley right at the bottom of the table <laughs> the week before they played Stoke. All they needed to do was win one of those games to get into that second place automatic promotion. What do they do? They go and lose both. Brentford, I don't know how you bottle it because I would have loved to see you in the Premier League. We've gone to games this season. Yeah. You know the owner, Matthew Bellingham. He's a legend. They've yeah. got a new ground designed for that step up to the Prem. I just hope they can pick themselves up for the playoffs on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, what happens? Do they win the playoffs? Do they not? What do you reckon, Dad? Well, it's going to be very tough because the form is against them. And yeah. you look at Swansea and Cardiff, and they are in better form. Bristol City, 7th, yeah. 5th, they were actually 12th. Yeah. A bit disappointing. They've got wealthy owners. Yeah, they've got wealthy owners, and they have some decent-ish players, but they need to really reinvest in the transfer market. They need fresh legs, new yeah. players, new things. They've got a great fan base, and they're a big club. But whether Lee Johnson's the man to bring them up, I'm not too sure. If you didn't know, in the last few days he has been sacked. And the man to come in and replace him is going to be Chris Hewton. I think he'll bring them up. Good luck to you, Bristol City. Cardiff City, you thought they'd win the league. I thought they'd be fourth. They were fifth. Won the last three games. Yeah. A great end to the season, really. Yeah, really solidified their spot in the playoffs. And they might see Swansea in the final. That would be a great thing. Oh, oh, Imagine that. That would be so tasty. What? They're the two on form, though. So you never know. It could be a Welsh playoff final. And that would uh, rack in the numbers on TV, wouldn't it? That would be amazing for Wales. Charlton Athletic. You said bottom. I said bottom. They were 22nd. Yeah. And heartbreak. Because they were only in the relegation zone for one week this season. Yeah, honestly, it's so tragic for them. They were, they were nowhere near the relegation zone for most of the season as yeah. well. And they had players like Macaulay Bond who were just banging in the goals. For Lee Bowyer, the manager, losing it at Leeds. Oh. Derby County. Now, you said they'd come 10th, and you got a lot of stick for that. I said they'd come 7th. They came 10th. There we go. That's what I like to hear, Thog Dad. I got it absolutely bang on. Now, <laughs> a bunch of Derby fans wrote to me. Yeah. yeah. They, they wrote to me at the start of the season saying, 
yeah, Theo, you're a mug, okay? <laughs> We're gonna make playoffs. We're gonna do it. And I said, listen, lads, you're gonna end 10th. And they ended exactly 10th. Fell apart at the end with yeah. those four defeats on the bounce. Yeah. And Keithy, Jono, and friends will be a bit upset by that because they expect better. Over to Fulham now on the River Thames. You said they'd be second. I said first. They actually came fourth. They'll be a little bit gutted they didn't get that second place that I predicted them. They're going down to the playoffs, do you reckon they'll win it? Well, what about that man Mitrovic this season? He's been an absolute god. The Serbian god up top. Yeah. Top goal scorer in the league. I actually think that one of the Welsh teams is going to go up. Really? Although Fulham are in good form. Over to Huddersfield Town now, 11th, 9th. They were actually 18th. Wow. And my goodness, three goals in the last six games. The fans are probably thinking, thank goodness we couldn't get in the ground. They sat their manager recently. I don't think that was the right decision, but, yeah. you know, good luck to them next season and hopefully they can get things rolling again. The whole city, you said yeah. 19th, I said 20th. They were bottom 24th. <sighs> what a shame. And they've got six points out of the last 60. I mean, it's been truly shocking, hasn't it? What's the reason? for that theory. You've got to blame it on the owners really yeah. and uh, partly in January. Let's just remind guys they were eighth in the championship. They were one point off the playoffs in January. They sold a certain winger called Jared Bowen to yeah. West Ham oh. and ever since then they've been in absolutely crap form. Like you said six points from 20 games. Oh. I wish the best of luck for that club. And the next team is Leeds United. You said they'd be third. I said they'd be second. <sighs> yeah. We were wrong. They were top. Well done Leeds by well 10 Leeds. points. Yeah we didn't expect that. I, <laughs> They've, they've not bottled it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's been a lot of years coming to this moment where they bottled it somewhere, but no, this time round, they, I think Corona actually helped them. You know, their yeah. players play with such high intensity that they get tired very early. Um, and I think having that big break during lockdown, you know, help them revitalize, get the system going again. Yeah. And then boom, since lockdown, they've been on the best form in the league. They've absolutely been promoted with style. How did Neil do in the Prem? Well, pretty good, actually. I mean, even Ben White was getting on the score sheet. What a goal that was. He's been a difference for them. One name we have to mention, one of the most interesting managers in the world yeah. of football, Marcelo Bielsa. Yeah. He is something else. And when do we give Calvin Phillips an English start? Oh, what I know. What a player. They'll be a force to be reckoned with at yeah. home. Because going to Ellen Road with fans being back from October, they're going to get some points at home, 100% in the Prem. And I think they'll stay up. I think I, they'll stay up. I think they'll stay up as well. Luton Town, you said yeah. 17th, I said 17th. They were 19th. They escaped like we predicted, really. Yeah, yeah. We said they wouldn't go down and they didn't. You know, 17th place, we both predicted it. Two places off it, but they survived. And fair play to them. They actually look really good coming in the season. Got that emphatic 3-2 win in the last game. And manager, Nathan Jones, he used to be at Luton, went to Stoke, came back, people were questioning that, he's kept you up. Well done, yes. Nathan well Jones. Done. Here's one we got very wrong. Yeah. Middlesbrough, 6th, 11th, they were 17th. Wow. I can't believe a team like Middlesbrough is so low in that division, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I, I absolutely got this terribly wrong. Uh, and, and it's mainly because they had Woodgate for most of the season. I thought he would come in there with a positive style of play and it would click. It didn't click. They nearly yeah. went down. Uh, it was only when they brought in Warnock they started getting a few more points and they stayed up. Neil Warnock is one hell of a manager, so I look forward to next season. Millwall, I think we got this very wrong. Yeah. 21st, oh. 16th. They were actually 8th. Bloody hell. I'm sorry for doubting you, Millwall. Yeah, apologies, guys. I actually thought you'd make a cheeky run for that, that, that final playoffs position and you won that massive 4-1 win in the last game of the season, yeah. but yeah, you didn't get it in the end. But best of luck to Millwall next year. They can, they can go for the playoffs again. Nottingham Forest. And if you're a Nottingham Forest fan, turn away now, 9th, 10th, you were 7th. Yeah. But the story is, how did you mess up so badly on the final day? The bookies were giving odds of 25 to 1 that you'd be in the top 6. Yeah, it's honestly... <laughs> how? How did that Forest team not make it? Yeah. At, at moments, they were looking like they were going to get automatic... Yeah. Um, promotion for that second place, a cheeky one for that. I, the whole year they were around the playoffs. I mean, Sabri Lamucci, the manager, has gone on record and said it's a disaster, yeah. it's unacceptable. But one of your teachers is a Forest fan, isn't he? Yeah, and I emailed him saying, asking him if he's alright after that result. And he <laughs> yeah. said, Hi Theo, thanks for writing. I'm still in shock and it was hard to process as I watched the game last night. Although, like most Forest fans, I feared the worst after Sunday against Barnsley. Brought back so many dreadful memories of implosions against Yeovil, Blackpool, etc. Hope we stick with Sabri though, take care and hope you're well. And here's another team that we rated too low, yep. 15th, 12th, they were actually 9th. They were, they so, did better than what we expected, fair play to them. Queen's Park Rangers, you said 18th, I said 19th, they were 13th. As they scored in the last game of the season for their draw, 2-2 against West Brom, yeah, it might be his last goal for the club because Ooh. he is probably 
off in the summer to the Premier League. If they kept Nucky Wells for the whole season, I'm sure they might have even gone for a cheeky run for playoffs. So Reading, we thought they would struggle. 20th, yeah. 22nd. They were actually 14th. They so, did well. Yeah, they overachieved probably. Yeah, mid-table for them again. They look good. They, they did look good. Positive goal difference. Sheffield yeah. Wednesday, 13th, 15th. They were actually 16th. Ooh. So a bit of a stinker of a season. And Sheffield yeah. Wednesday Flans will be glad it's all over. EFL might be going after you. Financial fair play, I think. That would really get them. Wouldn't that mean a minus 12 point deduction, Dad? If it was 12 point deduction, they'd go down. No way. Yes. Next is a team that we thought would be up there. Yeah. Stoke City, you said 8th. 8th. They were actually 15th. Stoke City, what's going on, lads? And they were right down there. At yeah, times, it looks like they were going to get relegated. They got 13 points from the last six games. That's unbelievable. Which is fourth in the yeah. form table. But as a season as a whole, you shouldn't be down in 15th And they place. beat Forest 4-1 for on the last know, game to send Forest out of the playoff position. <laughs> and Stoke are down there. Yeah. I mean, if they could have played like they did on the last game of the season for the whole year, they'd probably be in the playoffs themselves. So here's a team that we thought would be mid-table. Yeah. Swansea City. You said 12th, I said 13th. And where did they finish? 6th. Yep, unbelievable. What an end to the season. The form in those last six games was incredible. It there. was. Wayne Routledge to send them through <laughs> to the playoffs. You couldn't write this stuff, could you, Dad? I know. Reading 1, Swansea 4. Yeah. I couldn't believe it when I saw that. I know. Rian Brewster has been on great form for them as he's seen as he's come in. I wouldn't write them off with the form Swansea are in, though. And now West Bromwich Albion. You yeah. said 4th, I said 3rd. They were 2nd. They smashed it. Well done to the baggies. You're going up. You're in the Premier League. Oh, unbelievable. And best of luck next year. How do you reckon they'll do? Well, the thing is, actually, they didn't really want it. The last four games, oh they drew three and lost one. I know. So, I worry a bit. Who I knows? The sort of calibre of players they have in their team, like Matias Pereira, yeah. he's going to basically shock a lot of Premier League, like, Premier League teams of how good he is. They have a few special talents in their team. However, they, need, they will have the money and they'll need to invest if they want to survive in the league. Finally, Wigan Athletic. You said they'd be 23rd. Oh, I was so wrong. Oh, that's I? so ridiculous. Crazy. I said they'd I was be 12, 21st. I was 12 points off. Um, looking at the but table. But what's that? What's that? Oh. Is that... They've got point deduction. Oh. 12, that, 12 points. Oh, my God. That means Wigan are 23rd. And I got it right. Yeah. Wow. But we shouldn't so smile because I tell you, yeah. I feel for Wigan fans. I actually do too. There well. might have been some banter online, but yeah. to lose it in that way because of the owners, because of things going on behind the scenes, yeah. is disgraceful. It so is. I feel for everyone. How does that owner, you know, reach the fit and proper to? How does that pass and they still do get away with the stuff they've done? He's literally put them in administration as well. And what even happened? What even happened? And finally, go. Theo, who's going up in third place after the playoffs? Um, I'm going to say Brentford. I'm sorry, I'm going to say Brentford. Uh, I think. I think they'll just hit form at Wembley. They've got the players to do so. What, do, what about you? Cardiff City. Wow. Okay. He's gone for a Welsh team. Everyone let me know who is winning the playoffs. Tell me in the comments section. Let's smash Dog Dad's like target of how many? 5,000. Come on, lads. Can smash we do it. it. Can we get it? All day long. We'll see. We'll see. And subscribe to keep yourself posted with the EFL content that we've got when all the leagues going on. If you want to see some playoff live streams, get notifications on for that. See ya.